As I finished my shift for DoorDash about 11.15 p.m. last night, I got a call from a customer saying they didn't receive their food. How many times is this going to keep happening, folks? All right, we already know where this is headed. <clears throat> I asked for her name, and she wouldn't tell me. Mm, another red flag. She said she lived on Sanders Street. I told her I haven't had an order for Sanders Street today. I asked her who her driver was, and she said Cheryl. I asked where uh, I asked where your order was from, like Taco Bell or Wendy's, Applebee's, etc., and she wouldn't say. I tried to contact DoorDash, but since my shift has ended, I couldn't get a hold of support. I tried logging back in and got hit with an order after after I let it go, but tried to put it on pause so I could get a hold of DoorDash support. So I don't know what to do. DoorDash never said I didn't deliver an order, uh, and our numbers are normally scrambled, so I don't know how she even got a hold of me. I even tried to call that customer back, and no answer. I could use your help. I always complete my orders and take pictures, and I had no deliveries for Sanders Street. <clears throat> okay, so this is a situation that I've heard half of the way from what she explained here. The only thing I couldn't think of as to why this happened is that one of the last orders you delivered, probably the last one you delivered, uh, was to some other place, right? And then that customer who refused to give you their name, which is also super shady, which is another red flag, okay? Um, they probably are trying to get a free meal and told you some different address or whatever just to, you know, confuse things. And this is where one of two things, okay, is going to happen here. One, nothing's going to happen. You're going to be fine. You're not going to get any issues and everything will continue as it has so far. Two is you're going to get a contract violation. Okay. I would contact uh, support at doordash.com. Let them know what you, what you told me literally copy and paste it to them. Tell them when you worked, the time you started, the time you ended your shift, and that you tried to get back on to contact DoorDash, but you weren't able to do it. Or the next time you work, try and call DoorDash. Send the email too. Because, you know, honestly, you always want a CYA. Cover your ass. Because nobody else is going to do that for you in the gig economy. It's all on you. Pretend like you're running a business, which is, you know, you, technically it's like you are as a 1099 independent contractor under the umbrella of DoorDash, Grubhub, or Uber Eats. So keep that in mind. Um, another thing I'm going to just say, I know I repeat myself all the time in like every video. If you make sure you, you know, make sure you're not only on just DoorDash. Make sure you are on the other apps. Always on the big three. DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats. Go to Grubhub.com. And this is for everybody watching. If you are only working DoorDash, let me know in the chat or the comments right now. If you only work DoorDash or if you multi-app and what are the other apps besides DoorDash that you guys use? And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button right here, right now. Turn on all notifications. Hit that like. And if you made it to this point in the video, leave a comment saying driver 713. Driver 713. Guys, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Pay to Drive. This video has been brought to you by the Paid to Drive membership program. Get started today by clicking the join button now.